Hi everyone, in this video, we'll answer the question, what is a driver? How does it differ from a common data connector? And provide an overview of standards-based connectivity. Before we talk about what a driver is, it's important to address the problem that drivers solve, and that's the state of data today. With more and more enterprises moving to the cloud, data is more distributed than ever before. At the same time, the volume and velocity of data is growing exponentially. All of this fragmentation creates incredible inefficiencies. So to make use of this data, IT teams have to create connectivity, security, data management, data movement, and more. Ultimately, organizations need easier ways to work with their data. And that's where drivers come in. Now that we've addressed the problem that drivers solve, we can answer the question, what is a driver? In short, a driver is a building block that removes the complexity of gaining access to data. But it's important to note that a driver goes beyond a common data connector, which is often tightly coupled to a specific use case or technology. Drivers are written to long established standards, and provide universally supported access from the tools that we use every day to the databases that power businesses. Drivers mean that any BI reporting or ETL tool or common development languages and frameworks can access data from virtually any database. So what makes CData drivers different? CData drivers are written to the same standard as database drivers, which means they can be used anywhere and everywhere in BI tools and reporting tools and development languages and frameworks. However, we extend connectivity beyond databases to hundreds of SaaS applications like CRMs and ERPs, modern data stores like NoSQL and Big Data Solutions, flat files, and more. Basically anything that has an application programming interface or API. Now any tool that can work with a database can work with data no matter where it resides, whether that's in the cloud, on-premises, or in a hybrid model. Beyond the breadth of connectivity, there's a tremendous amount of intelligence under the hood of our drivers to optimize working with data from different sources. CData's engineers do extensive performance optimization, and our drivers offer advanced features like query federation and caching to support incredibly diverse workloads. While there are myriad benefits to adopting CData drivers, I'd like to narrow down on the most important ones with you now. First, our tools provide a NoSQL interface for data. Any tool that speaks SQL can now work with enterprise data from anywhere with no special requirements for the applications. Second, the hardest work of actually building the integration is already done. And note, since we take a data-centric approach to building our integrations, APIs are converted into tables and views, dramatically simplifying the way users work with data. Third, there are no maintenance headaches. CData drivers are actively supported and updated, managing the ever-changing API landscape for you. This means whenever a provider updates their API to add authentication or security, there are no code changes for you. You simply install the new driver and you're ready to go. And fourth, CData drivers provide a richer data experience. Because we take that data-centric approach, all data looks like tables and views, meaning that it's easier to work with your data than ever before. And now you know what a driver is, how it differs from a common data connector, and the way that CData drivers can help save time and resources on integrations and help your business spend more time finding value from your enterprise data. Visit www.cdata.com to learn more about our drivers and to download a free trial. Start getting more value from your enterprise data today.